Welcome. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the basics of Adobe Flash, kind of how it relates to other methods of putting things up on the internet, and kind of advantages and disadvantages, and kind of what it is. For more information about this and other um, aspects of it, please feel free to check out my website at www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com, or you can email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Okay. So the standard method of putting things up on the internet is through HTML. Um, HTML is a markup language, or it's a language, a coding language of how to put things up uh, that browsers will read. Um, here's the website, for example. I'll show you. If you take a standard website and right-click View Page Source, this will give you the, the HTML build of the site. Kind of the the guts of how the site is built. And the different ways, different ways to create HTML pages with lots of software, even starting off with Notepad if you'd like. There's also another language called CSS, and it stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Okay. CSS language is a little bit different, and it looks a little different too. Um, CSS turns that HTML into something a little bit more graphical. For example, if we turned off the CSS on this site, the site would look like this. Not very interesting. But with the CSS on, it gives it a little bit more flavor. Flash is something different. Flash is also used for, for putting material up on the internet, but it's a lot more um, visually based um, but it also in, implements elements of coding and interactivity. Um, let's look some, for some examples first of all. Uh, probably the most popular example that I know of is Disney.com. A lot of things Disney does incorporates a lot of Flash elements into their websites. Um, from Flash videos to animation, rollovers, and those kind of things. They've really utilize the program a lot to make their um, websites graphically stimulating. And we'll see that when that pulls up. It's used a lot to bring multimedia up to the web. Um, FLVs or, or flash video files are very common on the web. You see, it's a lot more just graphically based than some of the dry HTML or CSS pages. There's definitely ways you can recreate this kind of layout and even some of these effects with rollovers and things like that in, in standard HTML and CSS. The flash videos, rollovers, interactivity, creating buttons and things like that. Disney is very popular for that. Like I said before, another popular method of using Flash is to in, uh, incorporate multimedia to the web. Now, of course, there's also many ways to pull up, make, put a v movies and multimedia on the web. Flash is a very popular way of doing that. Um, another something you may have seen is, is Flash introductions. Those are the kind of the flashy um, animated introductions to a website. Maybe not a whole website is built on it. that. One of the major disadvantages of using Flash is search engine optimization. I don't know how well you are familiar with it, but um, search engines such as Google, AltaVista, Yahoo, those kind of um, things go out and search the web to find relevant information to your searches, and that's a huge, if not the main mode of transportation, how people find your sites, get on your things, your sites, and use your things, and, um, which is very important. One big disadvantage with Flash is that these search engines um, 
can't natively go through and read your material like they could HTML. Um, that's a huge di disadvantage. But there are different advantages definitely for using it, like we saw before, incorporating the multimedia elements and some graphical based elements into to the site. And so they're just different ways of doing things. What, what you typically do is create um, flash elements or a flash site and then with HTML pull it into your site into onto an HTML page and then load the HTML page like you would any others. Different styling things with CSS and kind of use them all together to create um, effective, powerful sites. And so that's really the basic of it and how it kind of fits into the rest of the, the internet. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, um, to learn more about it, like I said, check out the website at www.freewflashtutorials.com. Thank you very much.